the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear friends, I would like to welcome you to the 34th day of this journey, Rebirth. Today I'm praying for you. And I'm asking the Holy Spirit to begin to perform a divine purification rite in your network. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I'm commanding the Holy Spirit in all humility to begin to perform a divine purification rite in your network. People who aren't meant to be there, people who have become locusts, who have become time wasters, who have become grain eaters and dream killers in your life should be uprooted out of your space and life now in the mighty name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit. We continue talking about the law of impartation. Yesterday we spoke about the sixth principle. Today let's look at the seventh principle. The, the seventh principle of the law of impartation is known as the law of reset. The law of reset. You know, one, one of the features that I admire about modern tech gizmos is the reset button the reset button so let's take it that i lost my password to my mail or my gadget is freezing and it's not functioning optimally all i need to do is to click the reset button and bingo i'm starting afresh now just like these gadgets your life your very life from time to time needs to be reset to enable you perform optimally and reach your destiny So reset. Reset means to start anew, to set, to adjust, or to fix in a new or a different way. Look, my dear friends, sometimes life can choke us with one problem or the other, and we can get all stressed up, we can get tired, and and situations can arise that we have absolutely no control over. In those moments, you must reach out and press your reset button. So the Bible, for instance, is a reset feature for man. It is where we discover solutions to mankind's problems and challenges. If you take forgiveness, for instance, that's the mystery of God's reset for sin and guilt. So if you have sinned, if you are feeling guilty, you just reset with forgiveness. If you come to the physical dimensions, you take the hospital, all those who work in the hospital are the reset button for sickness in our physical dimensions. So if you are not feeling well, you go to the hospital for the doctor to reset your physical health back. And I'm telling you that in this life, in these dimensions, if you really want a rebirth, do you even want a rebirth? Are you sure you want a rebirth? If you really want a rebirth, your perception of how the world operates has to be reset. Your perception of how you do things has to be reset so you can have a fresh perspective on issues. So permit me to give you four areas of your life that you need to reset. And that's the assignment I'm going to give you today. Look at all these four areas of your life. So that's your spiritual assignment for today. Look at all these four areas that we are coming to mention and see the possibility of doing some reset in these areas. You need to do this before the the, the, the 40-day journey that is captioned rebirth ends so that you can live fruitfully, so that you can live optimally and abundantly in the land of the living that God is going to be giving to you. So which areas of your life do you need to reset? Number one, social resets. Let me hear you say social reset. Look, there are some friends, eh? There are some friends and associates you have been dealing with since the 70s, since the 80s, and since the 90s. They have added no value to your life. Rather, they are aiding and abetting you to do all the wrong things. Please press your reset button. There are some people, there are some other people, they, they come with a friendly front. That's the other group. The first group are those that you have been dealing with who have added no value to your life. They are rather aiding and abetting you to do all the wrong things. That's the first group. Reset. Please hit the reset button fast. Then there is another group. They come with a friendly front. Hmm? They come with a very friendly front. You fall for them as a husband or as a wife or as a lover or as a friend or as a business partner. Partner. Then they take from you. Eh? They rob you and they leave you for dead. It is time to reset all them people. I'm serious. It's time to reset them. I don't care who they are. Reset them. After all, it is God himself who gave us the first law of nature. Ah, we have some things known as the laws of nature. One day we will run a conference on that, the laws of nature. The first law of nature is known as the principle of self-preservation. 
and the principle of self-preservation is a process where an organism must prevent itself from being harmed or being killed. It is considered as the basic instinct in most organisms. It is the first law of nature. It's known as the principle of self-preservation. Some people will call it the survival instinct. So you are being hurt very bad. You are being killed. Your very life is in danger. And you are still there. In the name of my church says this. My church does not allow this. Or my society says this. What will my mother what will my mother say? What will my, my father say? What will my family say? What will my friends say? And you are there, your life is in danger, and you are sitting there. Be there. You are forgotten. God Himself said, Thou shalt not kill. Eh? And you are being killed physically, you are being killed emotionally. You are being killed spiritually, and you are sitting there. When I say it, then you quote for me, oh, you know, Matthew chapter 16, verse 25. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. You being killed in there, you are losing your life for God's sake or for whose sake. Christ died on the cross once, so the price has been paid already. Or better still, you go and quote Romans chapter 8, verse 18. For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed. Some sufferings are foolish sufferings, I'm telling you. The sufferings they are talking about in Romans chapter 8, verse 18, yeah, it's not that kind of. Some sufferings are foolish. Look, let me tell you. Stop misinterpreting scripture. If you misinterpret scripture, it's a sin on its own. Do, do, do you know the revelation behind this test and you are quoting them to support your stay in that deadly situation? You stay there, Jerry. Stay there and die. When you die me, I'll come and bury you. I'll eat Jollof at your funeral. And when you get to heaven's gate, Angel Gabriel will lash you on top for not using your head when you were here on earth. Eh? Reset. Watch the company you keep. Because you can become the company you keep. If your circle of friends, if the circle of individuals, are not helping you positively it is time to reset i'm not saying we should give up on ourselves easily as human beings that is not the point i'm making but you know what I'm, you listening to me you know what i'm talking about get fresh contact get fresh ideas get fresh conversations that will help you the company you keep can make or make you so hit the reset button if you are in the wrong crowd the second area of the second area of your life that you need to reset is your spiritual life I call it the spiritual reset. I've been talking a lot about spirituality. Humans are essentially body and spirit. You'll be doing yourself a lot of harm if you ain't feeding your spirit man with the right spiritual material. It is not just feeding your spirit man. You have to feed your spirit man with the right spiritual material. When was the last time you prayed or went to church? When was the last time you confessed your sins or read your Bible? For most of us, we only remember God when we are in trouble. So God is now a book on your shelf, Abby. Eh? He's now a book on your shelf. You reach out to him when you feel like. Eh? Eh? You reach out to him when you feel like. You keep at it. Eh? Jerry, continue. When the evil days come and you reach out and the book is off your shelf, then you see that God is love. Look, it is time for a spiritual reset. Deepen your spiritual roots. Get a good and authentic Christian church. Go for Bible studies. Get a good spiritual father or spiritual director. Spirituality is the gas that gets you to sail through the storms of life. That is a tweetable. Tweet it. Spirituality is the gas that gets you to sail through the storms of life and beyond. Spirituality is what will get you to your destiny. So be serious. The third area that you need a reset is what I call the physical reset. And here I'm talking about your body, your very body. You are the captain of your ship. Your ship is your body and you are the captain. It makes sense then to take good care of yourself. You have no idea health is wealth till you start falling sick. Eh? If you are sick, you cannot pray. Are you away? If you are sick, you can't pray. You can't, if you are sick, you can't do anything else. Are you stressed? Are you into drugs? Are you, are, you, are you into alcoholism? Are you into gluttony? Are you using all your energy on women? If your answer is yes to any of these, you need to really hit the reset button fast. You fall sick and see if you can even pray. So check your diet. Check your diet. An occasional quick body service may be a good idea. A regular med checkup to nip problems in the bad is a good idea. Take a vacation, rest well, take it easy, spread your scales and avoid stress and find ways to detox. The fourth area of your life that you need to reset is your emotional area. Is anyone giving you emotional stress or trauma and making your life a living hell? It is time to reset emotions that have been managing you. 
not falling prey to emotional slumps and pitfalls is critical to living your destiny. So let's take it that your heart has been broken or you have been betrayed or you just lost a loved one or you just got out of a fierce marital battle in court. It is time for a reset. If you need counseling, get it. If you need therapy, get it. Don't allow unhealthy emotions to go unchecked. Your ability to press your reset button will save you. It is time for a reset. So my challenge to you today is this. If you really want a rebirth, eh, re-examine your life. Re-examine your thinking. Re-examine your values. Re-examine your perceptions. And if they are negative, hit the reset button. So today I pray for you. And ask the Holy Spirit to perform a divine surgery in your networks. People who are not meant to be there. People who have become locusts, who have become time wasters, who have become grain eaters, who have become dream killers. I pray that they should be uprooted out of your space and your life once and for all in the mighty name of Jesus. So prayer points. For a prayer point. For a prayer point. Amen to that prayer. For a prayer point. In your own words, pray about today's reflection as the Spirit leads you. Then ask the Lord to look into your life and shake the wrong people out of your life and command every evil network around you to catch fire there is an evil network yeah the mystery of networks there's something known as an evil network command all of them to catch fire in the mighty name of jesus and ask the holy spirit to perform a divine surgery in your network ask the holy spirit to remove all low cost all time wasters all grain eaters all dream killers every man or woman who is set to devalue your net worth Ask the Holy Spirit to kick them out of your life. My dear friends, have a prayerful day. Shalom. And God bless you.